We begin tonight with a look at the growing number of positive COVID-19 cases in Georgia. Now, the state has more than 59,000 confirmed cases, according to the Georgia Department of Health's latest update. That's up more than 600 cases from yesterday. More than 2,500 people have died from the virus. Now, starting today, there is no longer a limit on the number of people you can sit with at a movie theater. Governor Kemp's latest executive order lifted more COVID-19 restrictions. Now, that is getting mixed opinions. Chelsea Bynfor talked to some folks who are ready to hit the big screen, while others would rather chill out at home. While movie theaters are usually hopping in the summertime, kids are out of school and people are expecting big name releases at the box office. But this summer, things are a bit different thanks to COVID-19. The Amstar parking lot is empty on a cool June afternoon. On a typical summer day, most spots would be filled with amateur movie critics, kids, and cars. Instead, it's closed due to COVID-19. The state allowed Georgia movie theaters to reopen at the end of April, so long as they followed social distancing and sanitary guidelines. But under Governor Kemp's latest executive order, there's no longer a limit on the number of people that can sit together in a group. Probably would if I kept my mask on. Some people say they're fine with it. Others say they'll stick to Netflix and their couch for the time being. Personally, I would want to give it a little while just to watch the uh, curve to see which way it's going. The Macon Amstar remains closed among dozens of other theaters despite the state's latest orders. Some are doing private screenings like at the Houston Lake Cinemas where you can pay $100 and bring 20 people to watch a movie of your choice. Others like Amstar are selling curbside concessions to continue earning some cash during the pandemic. Um, yeah, movie theater, I would go if I had like something. I think drive-in movie theaters would probably be more appealing, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but yeah, if I had a mask, I would definitely. That's Amstar has not yet released a reopening date for this theater. Reporting in Macon, Chelsea Bime for 13 WMAZ News. Also effective today, walk-ins are now allowed at spas, salons, and tanning facilities, and the governor lifted reduced limits on the number of people who can be served at a restaurant. Here's a look at other restrictions that are lifted as the governor continues to reopen the state. You can see more people, as we told you, inside bars and restaurants. No limit now on the number of folks inside the restaurant. Bars can have 50 people inside or 35% of the total listed fire capacity. Gatherings are allowed with a maximum of 50 people as long as there's at least six feet between each person. And as we told you, salons, barbershops, and tattoo parlors can accept walk-in customers.